a quick outline of today. Um, I'm going to run through what the SEAC committee is about real briefly, um, and then we're going to get right into the SEAC PV uh, report that deals with the wind design of, of solar panels on flat roofs. Um, and that's going to take us uh, all the way through to uh, we, we talk about an example problem that we have in there, uh, how to apply those provisions, uh, have a discussion about effective wind area, have a discussion about the wind tunnel procedure, um, and then uh, let, well, then we'll talk about other PV configurations, right? Whether they're ground mounts, trackers, those type of things, and then we'll get specifically into freestanding systems and flush mounted systems that you'd see on residential, and then at the end we'll kind of bring it full circle, what do you do with all the other systems that don't really fit nicely into either provisions that are out there and where to go from there. So the PV committee, um, <clears throat> we, we formed it in 2011. Um, we, we, we really saw a need for, there was no, there's no provisions uh, that existed in ASC 7 or in the IBC. Um, a lot of jurisdictions were having a lot of questions. Different manufacturers were using different wind tunnel type studies. Some were, were just trying to use components and cladding for everything. And, and so there was this, this big gap in our code. And the code development process takes a very long time. And there wasn't really that time to wait for that to develop. And so we created this committee that had a number of, uh, basically had the whole field covered everything from structural engineers to, to building officials, uh, wind tunnel experts, and um, a lot of industry input. We had a lot of members on the committee. I think you know, we had as many as 30 to 40 people on many of these calls. We met basically for a full year every other week just about to publish both of these two documents that we'll, uh, I'll touch on here in a second. Um, so the first the first document that we published was the, a seismic related document. It deals with how do you design solar arrays on on roofs, um, both attached and unattached systems. And then we had a second report that was concurrently being developed is the one we're going to present today about wind. Both of these are available on the SEAC website. If you go to this link down here below, and they're twenty dollars each to download. Um, so where are we at currently in the committee? Um, the, we're working on uh, dealing with the roof gravity load issues. Um, that's a very common problem. Uh, what do you do with the live load on the roof if you're adding extra weight to it? Um, there's, there was a, a paper published at the SEAC convention two years ago, um, but again, we're looking to have a report published for that. There's also provisions going into the IBC and the I mean, in the uh, ASC 7, uh, and there's some in the IBC I'll touch on later that will help you there. Even though it's not wind related, I'll just touch on it. And then about testing PV array components, um, we're working on, on how to deal with, with, with that to create some consistency amongst all the manufacturers. And then <clears throat> we're going to update the wind report that we're going to talk about today. Um, once the ASC 716 balloting has been completed, uh, we'll update those reports to integrate what went on through that process. And we'll touch, about, touch on that today. And then we're also working on updating the PV1 report. Um, for those of you that do a lot of solar, you'll want to make sure that you, uh, one week from today, same time slot, there's a companion webinar that deals with the PV1 report, all the seismic related issues. Uh, both Carl Tolina and Andrea Schellerberg are going to be presenting that, and they're very, uh, very much a big part of the SEAC PV committee and have done a lot of research in that. So if you do a lot of this work, please uh, make sure you sign up for that one as well. So with that, I'm going to hand over the reins here to David Banks. David's going to kind of go through our PV report and all the background on that. So Dave, it's, it's all you. All right. So I guess I'm going to start with a brief section describing why, we, why did we do this? Why did we put together um, a prescriptive method to calculate wind loads on um, roof-mounted PV on, on flat roofs? That's, that's what PV2 is all about the report that John Ron just mentioned. Um, essentially, you're going to hear me say throughout today's talk that there is basically nothing in ASCE 710 that is intended for use with solar. And I want to be clear about that statement. Um, when you get down to the core of it, what's in ASCE 7 is a wind load calculation procedure that starts with the left-hand side of this equation, that's a velocity pressure. This is relevant to your site. What are, how windy is it at the site you're at? And then a coefficient, which says, how does your structure deal with 
the winds when the, when the uh, strong wind is blowing past what does that turn into in terms of loads on the structure um, this first piece there's no problem with that the second piece there really is nothing in there that was intended for use with solar 